We want to go now to WJZ investigator Mike Helgren. He's live with the surge in violence around the city. Mike. Vic, the governor had a private meeting today with the mayor and the police commissioner. He says there needs to be no more excuses when it comes to violent crime. And he was critical of both of them. It was like, like consistently, consistently, consistently. A neighbor who asked us to conceal her identity describes the barrage of gunfire she heard on Holland Street in southwest Baltimore Tuesday. More than 20 rounds killed a 22 year old man. All them bullets for one little tail. That's crazy. Just look at how many bullets pierced this Lincoln Town car. One here in the door, another here, another that went through the back window. And if we go around to the side, you can see there's another in the side window here. Violence in the city of murders in the city is something that troubles me deeply, like it should trouble you and anybody. And city officials are finally addressing the violence that has injured more than 50 people in the past 10 days. I've been in constant contact uh, with our state agencies, with our federal uh, law enforcement agencies, and our U.S. attorney. On Friday, a 14 year old was shot to death in Northeast Baltimore. And on Sunday, a man was killed in Federal Hill Park. The commissioner says that is one of several shootings linked to dice games and illegal gambling. We need information about those dice games, and when people see them, please call us and tell us so that we can come solve those issues before they turn violent. Governor Hogan is so alarmed, he met with the mayor and police commissioner in Baltimore and spoke on WBAL radio. We've now had 1,827 people murdered mm. in Baltimore City since Freddie Gray. And I, I want to know, you know, where is the outrage mm. from the city, from, you know, from the residents of the city to say enough is enough? I mean, mm. these Black Lives Matter. The number of homicides and non fatal shootings uh, are actually down slightly compared to this time last year, but that is little comfort to the many people living in fear tonight. Reporting live in Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.